I'll take care of you. Everything is for Lord Orochimaru. Hey, this is Tamara, signing on with some more of Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm. Okay, so last time we start, started the Sasuke Retrieval arc. So, yeah, not much else to say beyond that. And it just really confused me, because they're doing things kind of in a really dumb order with it, and that's kind of disappointing. So, here's the deal. After doing some research and finding out, yes, uh, Sasuke Retrieval is the final arc, and the only thing that really remains after finishing that arc, then it's just completion, do all the missions, do all the bonus objectives and everything. But from what I can gather, um, the only thing you get for doing all of that is a final cutscene of, you know, Naruto leaving the village bef um, after the events of everything to go on to the events of Shippuden. So, upon reflection, that's really not worth the time. I mean, again, I've been having fun with this game, but I'm the plan is basically now we're going to fast track it. So we're going to try two more parts to wrap everything up. So we're going to just jump right in. No more sidetracks on other missions or anything. We're just going to go through the the last couple of missions. Probably save one to the, the last one till next time. Now, Kimaro's made off with the coffin. I've been ordered by Shikamaru to chase after him. Uh, now that I've come this far, I'm not going to let you get away. Okay, chase mission. Oh, this is going to go faster than anything. Okay. Now, so we're going to fast track this a little bit. No, unless well, the only thing we're going to stop for is getting ingredients because I do find that very interesting. But as far as I'm concerned, we're going to wrap this up within the next two parts. I don't know unless you know people want to see a completionist run, but if unless there's a resounding yes to that, we're just going to do the rest of the main story missions, which again, they're pretty bare bones as it is. Something I've been complaining about the entire game. But yeah, I don't mean to, you know, kind of sound angry about it, but I think it's a good t point to wrap it up. We're not going to be like Naruto in general. We're not going to prolong this. Okay, I joke, but okay. Whoops. Dodge his jut his juts. I don't remember what that jutsu specifically called. It's got a name. Crap. I would have caught him by now if I hadn't done that. Attack! Good job, Naruto. Okay, that's a mission. So, yeah, that's the plan. Don't mean to fast forward this. I know I've been spending a lot of time doing everything as it kind of comes up, but I think now putting my foot down, this is how we're going to do this. Do, 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 do. I'm great! Mission success. Death cup? Okay. But we're gonna. Oh, I was gonna say we're still look for ingredients unless they don't come up. But okay, Naruto and Kimimaro. Just as it seemed like Naruto had caught up with Sasuke, once again Kimimaro appeared to interfere. The fierce Naruto attacked Kimimaro with a roar of rage. Yep, he certainly did that. That sounded sarcastic, but no, that's what happened. On the plains beyond the forest, I finally caught up with Kimimaro. Just a little more, a little more, and I can take Sasuke home. No matter how strong you are, I, I can't lose here. I vow to take Sasuke back. Good on you. Vermilion power, full of resentment. Naruto and Kimimaro, clash. All right. <clears throat> In a state where awakening mode is not possible, and high attack power, of course. I won't let you take Sasuke away. No matter what! Come. You didn't have much to Let's say there. Fight. Okay. Nope, you ain't doing that. Nice. 
I got not much to say. Usually I'm more talkative in these fights, but this is just kind of... Yeah, Naruto fought Kimimaro, but not for that long? And I'm guessing they're not even going to go into where the real fight involving Kimimaro in this now. And that's what's kind of bugging me now. You know, it's not... I've complained throughout the game that the storytelling and representation of what ha the events in the main Naruto series aren't very faithfully represented, but they got the point across at the same, you know, they still got the point across. Like in the cheating exams, you still played through some of the more important fights um, in the exam. Naruto versus Kiba, Hinata versus Neji, and there was stuff to reminisce about that. You know, go, you can go into detail across the fight. But this arc, they're speeding through this as fast as I am. They're skipping... They're putting fights together, so we're losing the impact, what little impact the fights might have had. Like, Neji versus Kitamaru, or Shikamo, or, um, Kiba versus, uh, Sakon and Yukon. You know, and now this, we're fast-tracking towards the end. I think I know who's gonna, what fights are next, but they're going through them so fast, and there's so much to this arc. I know the big final fight is the important one, but there's so much more than that, too. I'm to kill him. No, oh, goddammit, no, 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 no. Okay, that's what I get for being cocky. Fair enough. <sighs> okay. So, yeah, even though the storytelling in this game isn't great, it, or isn't good, let's be fair here. Come on. God, I can't wait to get to three when I got the substitution gauge. But there's just not much to say now. I've kind of been talking everyone's ear off throughout this Let's Play, but now they're speeding through this final act so quickly that there's really not much to connect to visually. Yeah. I don't know, I hate to be that way, but I'm, well, there's a, there'll be a final synopsis probably by next time. We got the attack move, yeah. This won't kill him, but it'll be close. Oh, we got high defense. Oh. Did I assume he had high attack power this whole time? I thought he did. I thought that's why he was doing so much damage. No, yeah, that makes more sense, though. Get out of here. I'm gonna get stronger and stronger. Yes, you will. Yeah, you got not much to say, and I feel it's, that's kind of not good when at this point I don't have much to say about Naruto anymore. That's kind of depressing when this game kind of reaches that point. Hmm. Secret Scrolls appeared, diorama, ingredients bags, okay, mission characters, yeah, and I don't know. We'll get the ingredients bag, and then I think we'll just keep doing um, main missions, and we'll see what our time is, because I don't want to, I'll, I'll save the last one for um, the next part. Wait, it's chakra recharges. That'll right. Come in handy. Did I? Yeah. Legendary soy sauce. Yeah, we'll just do the next ma main mission. If there's time, maybe we'll do another mission. Okay. Handsome Devil's Whirlwind. Okay, so they are actually... Well, what's the... Naruto is being overwhelmed by Kimimaro's attacks. However, with Lee appearing as reinforcement, the tables have turned. Naruto left Lee to Kimimaro and went on ahead. Mm. 
Okay, they're starting- well, it looked like I was going to be defeated by Kimimaro, but Bushy Brow saved me. Thanks to him, I could go after Sasuke. But is Bushy Brow's okay? That Kimimaro is really strong. Be careful and stay focused. Well, this is- A handsome devil cuts through like a whirlwind! Rock Lee! A battle of souls! Yeah, well, this is also when Lee, you know, after being- having almost life-threatening surgery with Tsunade, he's now, like, maybe has the potential to be a ninja again. And he's still recovering. This match, I cannot lose. I must not lower my guard with this one. Now, yeah, so Lee's still recovering, but then he shows up just in time to help out with this retrieval mission, kind of like going against his doctors to go and help everybody out. And, you know, it was kind of cool. He showed up, and he was fighting Kimimaro and doing pretty good. But then he had to take his medicine, which he accidentally... But instead of his treatment, he accidentally grabbed a bottle of sake. And then we find out Lee is actually a prodigy at drunken fist-style fighting. So we got drunk Lee, or loopy fist Lee, fighting Kimimaro, and again, still holding his own very good. Oops, come on, we're gonna hit him with this. Ah, damn it, the power block. Oh, it almost got him. Okay, but yeah, Lee, Drunk Lee starts fighting Kimimaro, and again, doing pretty good. He still no, you know, still can't beat him, but considering he did a good job. And actually, Loopy Fist Lee was a fun little character. Like, I don't think we've seen actually that happen. Well, he used to be a playable character in some of the other games, but I don't think we've seen that since... Naruto Ultimate Ninja 4 on PlayStation, on PlayStation 2. I'm pretty sure that was the last appearance of uh, Loopy Fist Lee pretty much ever. <laughs> because I don't think it ever came back in Shippuden, at least not in the um, manga. So maybe it came back in the anime for a little, um, like in a filler episode or something. That'd be funny. Secret Skulls appeared. Okay, nothing. But yeah, Loopy Fist Lee was pretty cool, and I wish we could have seen more of him. I wish that was like an awakening of his um, in the game. That would have been cool. Gara returns! Alright. Thanks to his amazing mental strength. Me mental? Yeah. What? Oh. Um, yeah, mental strength. Kimomaru was not affected by Lee's attacks. Lee's power was exhausted and he collapsed, but ninja of the hidden village hidden in the sand came to his aid. With the appearance re with the appearance with the appearance reinforcement it, it, I'm not the only one who thinks that's a weird with the appearance reinforcements <laughs> Kimomaru released the power of his curse mark and tried to finish the battle all at once oh this must be all right mission accepted Bushy Brow looked doomed, but he was saved by none other than Gara and his two siblings of the sand. Bushy Brow's got really confused by this unexpected twist. This time, Gara seems to be on our side. What a relief. However, Kimimaro wasn't going to let it end easily. He used the curse mark to release massive chakra. Gara, keep your wits up. Yeah, because the last time Lee saw Gara, he crushed half of his limbs. And attack power high. Yeah, on top of. He must be starting in curse mark mode. I'll take care of you. Everything is for Lord Orochimaru. Let's fight. Yeah. So yeah, Bushy Brows. Uh, Lee did really good against Kimamaro, but it wasn't enough. That's when Gara, Gara and Co show up. You know, it was. Shikamaru and Kiba trying their best, also fighting um, Tayuya and Sakon, Yukon, respectively, but they were just about finished when the Sand Siblings showed up. Konkuro fighting Sakon and Yukon, Tamari fighting Tayuya, and Gara fighting Kimamaro alongside Lee. And it was really cool, and as they showed up and then pulled off a bunch of big moves, Tamari revealed she had summoning jutsu. Oh, it actually summoned her pet. I'd actually like to know the story behind them. 
Conqueror showed up with another, a new puppet, the Ant, that's the pro, but the Ant, which then he used to, like, Iron Maiden sack on Yukon to death, which was actually pretty intense and brutal. And then Gara fighting Kimamaro and holding his own, like, much better than Lee did, even when Kimamaro went to this full state. And it was just a big fight of Gara using gigantic moves, giant sand pits, sand rain, and just a bunch of big techniques. It was a really cool fight. Let's go full power here. Brutal sand mode. If this attack power, crap. Oh yeah, and this was also this is also now starting to annoy me, but it, you know, yeah, now we're seeing Kim Amaro's full release curse mark, and you know, and that was a big deal. It was like, okay, um, our boys are doing pretty good against these um, sound ninja. Oh, but then they go into curse mark stake. Now the stakes have increased. Come on, walk into it. There we go. Perfect. You are dead. Hell yeah, Gara. But you picked the wrong opponent. It was also cool that, you know, now the Sand siblings reappear and they're also got they also got new costumes and everything. That's actually a pretty cool thing. So yeah, it was cool to see the Sand siblings come back and, you know, kind of um helping fight the hidden leaf. You know, this was also after the misunderstanding of um Orochimaru kind of corrupting the well, disguising himself as the Kazekage and killing him the you know, the real one. So the Sand Village realized they were duped and tried to mend mend their relationship with the Leaf after the attack on the Hidden Leaf Village. Later outfit, later outfit, later outfit. I love that though. It's so cool that they had new outfits for that fight. Treasure box. Let's go get it. Oh, multiple treasure boxes. So yeah, it was just really cool. Yeah, and Gara. I mean, even Gara. Rob wasn't really enough to stop Kimamaro, and he, him and Lee probably would have died, but Kimamaro had exerted himself too much, and, well, he was kind of, he had, like, I don't remember the exact details, but he was, he was sick with something, I think just, like, a bad, dis um, what is the word, just something that, um, was destroying his body slowly, just some kind of disease, or he was sick with something, but, um, you know, he wasn't even supposed to go out on the mission to help the Sound 4 because he probably would, he was pretty much guaranteed to die, and that's exactly what happened. Conqueror's Ninja Hound book, Puppet Course Coffin. Yeah, so he was pretty much guaranteed to die if he went out to save or help the Sound 4, which he did, and just like right at the last second before he could put a final blow onto Gara and Lee. So it was just like, it was a, you know, very close match, but, you know, they kind of, they pulled it off solely because, you know, his time ran out. And then on top of, you know, Tamari helping Shikamaru, and it also kind of like one of the, you know, one of the first teases at what could, was eventually their future relationship, uh-huh, and just Conkro coming in and showing off how actually cool the Puppet Mastery stuff was, and with a new puppet and, you know, controlling to what wants to do a brutal attack. Whoops. Uh, where's the last one? Kick. Oh, wait. Probably not there. Oh, wait. The door's right there. So, yeah. That's what was kind of cool about the... Kimamaro fight. It was just another battle on top of, like, four other major fights. And we saw none of that in any detail. Which, now that I think about it, I think the biggest reason we're not getting those fights is because um, the Sound 4 are support characters, so you can only use them for su um, support attack jutsus and not for actual play. Now that I realize it, they the Sound Four were never playable until, uh, well, at least in the uh, the Storm series, they were never playable until Four and as DLC. So you know, in hindsight, 
Roars echo through the valley. Naruto finally caught up with Sasuke. However, Sasuke was unmoved by his efforts of persuasion. In order to get his friend back, Naruto staked a bond on a fierce battle. Yeah, we're gonna save that. The final battle of Naruto versus Sasuke in the original series. We'll save that for next time. Ah, we can fill in some time. Let's do another mission. I suppose. Oh, we got two missions popping up here. Okay, we'll see what we can do in ten more minutes. But the next time, that's when we wrap things up with Naruto vs. Sasuke in one final hurrah. Shizune, what's up, girl? I really, Again, I really like Shizune, actually. Master I was asking for you. He's trying to capture Gamaki Jamakichi or something. Anyway, he wants your help. Oh, okay. That should be pretty simple. I'm guessing this is going to be like catch Akamaru mission. Grand chase after Gamakichi. Okay. Okay, we can do that real quick. <clears throat> And I think it'll be right next to the other mission we can do. Alright. So yeah, I guess what's kind of frustrating me about this one is... I guess that's why we never got those fight individual fights. Is because none of the Sound 4 were playable characters. So that's why they had to have Kimimaro as the only, only opponent for any of those fights. Is because he was the only playable character. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. Oh, just seeing them all lounge together. That's a nice little detail for the village. You're here! I heard you were... you wanted help me to help you catch Gamakichi, Pervy Sage. He's taking a liking to this world, and now he's making mischief all over the place. Hmm. Tsunade ordered his capture, and somehow the job fell into my lap. Well, you are the Toad Sage. It's all about getting the right man for the job. That job's better suited to you. I don't know about that, but okay. Gamakichi runs away. A whirling grand chase begins. By the way, Gamakichi is back there. The rest is up to you. In the back, huh? Got it. Let's just see how he does. It's a training mission. Haha. -ha. No, so yeah, Kimomaro's the only... Was basically the... Yeah, he was... Well, besides that first fight with Sasuke, the only fight for most of this chapter. Sasuke and Kimomaro, they're going to be the only opponents for this arc. And that's really dumb considering how important and how many big fights were in this arc. I know I've been complaining about, like, how the story is told, and I'm sure some of these were down to, like, limitations. I don't know. Maybe they had to make this game quick, because I think this game came out around the same time on the PS3, around the same time uh, Xbox was had the uh, Path of a Ninja and the Broken Bond games, so they were trying to, like, one-up them, I'm guessing. But even though I don't like the, control, the controls of a Path of a Ninja... At least it went into those events in detail. And that's what was so nice about it. Or that that's why I found that really nice. Is he not dropping banana peels of all things? Okay, Frog, goddammit. But, you know, it was going into the details of the story. And, you know, even though I never finished um, Path of a Ninja, you know, that was something I appreciated. Even though the controls and fighting were definitely not as good as this game. It was just, the storytelling was also important. If we had the storytelling of Path of a Ninja, although they also didn't have all the voice casts, that's the thing, it's like, if you put those two games together, you get a great game, or as in, you would get every other Ultimate Ninja Storm game, aside from this one, mostly. Damn, okay. That kept messing me up. Oh well, okay, we'll try it again. So yeah, this is what kind of gets me, is that, like, we miss out on all those, all the, like, the, the events, the biggest events, the most important events for many different characters, or for the story as a whole, and, I don't know, again, I'm complaining about all the same things pretty much every episode, but it really does bother me that much, that's the thing. Okay, let's get to Gam Gamakichi, do another mission. Any. Don't get behind him. Oh, shoot. I just, the tree got flung me right into it. Got 
Got you. All right, I caught up with him. <laughs> Slippery little frog. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. So yeah, this is kind of how this last arc is just breezing by so quickly, despite how big and important it was. And that's just kind of bugging me, so I've, you know, kind of lost my interest to hang around. That was easy. Rip it of, cor of all the nerve. Uh, well done. It was tricky, but nothing I couldn't handle. Huh. Hey, Jiraiya, what about our deal? I did my job, so give me a snack. <laughs> Quiet, you idiot. His job? Jiraiya came up with this plan to test your skills. He did it for me? I just wanted to see if you were improving or not. Well, now you know. You passed barely, but you have to keep training. Got it? Got it. Okay. <laughs> Give me a snack. It's funny if they brought in Jam Jamatatsu. Oh, is this lady just... Right now, buy something... Yeah. I don't even know what how much I spent, but it doesn't matter. Plain tag? Oh. Do I really use one of those? I suppose we got a little time. Let's stop by the item shop. So, yeah. We're going here. We'll head to the item shop. We've got two missions left. And probably next time we'll also say hi to Teyuchi. See if we got all the stuff we need for the last couple of ramens. Hey guy, keep on working on. Golden Hang Clown. Don't have enough for a substitution scroll. A substitution scroll. Sluggish tag. I haven't checked here in a while. There are rewards and missions for buying everything here. And I think we're close. What, two, three items? Two items? Yeah. I spend a lot of Rio buying figures and checking stuff out. It turns out with the dioramas you need. Um, I do not have enough Rio for that. Okay. We're good. No, yeah, I can't, I'm not gonna lie, some of the completion stuff, like doing the missions, even though it's repetitive, it is c still kind of fun to try and do all the missions, and it's also easy to keep track of. What do we got? You know, we've done 80 missions. Yeah. And it has been fun and everything, it's just, it... again, my story complaints just kind of start compounding after, a, well, not very long, but, yeah. So, we'll see. We'll wrap this up next time, and then that's when all my final word will be said. Alright, so yeah, we're going to stop for here right now, and next time we will continue, and we will probably finish this up. So, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Tamara, signing off.